Jasira. Thank you, Jasira. Next, we have Dynasty McKinney, a fourth grade student at Clara Oliver Elementary School. Hello there. Do you have any pets? No, ma'am. No pets. If you did have a pet, what do you think you'd want to have? I have a cat. His name is Legacy. I want to have a dog. I a, would want to have a canine. A canine? Okay, mom and dad, you hear that? <laughs> no pressure. How does this microphone position work for you, Dynasty? Is that good? Okay. Good morning. My name is Dynasty McKinney. And I'm a fourth grader from Clara Oliver Elementary. And today's question for the world is, what would Dr. King's vision be for America in 2020? Dr. King's vision for America in 2020 is linked to the fact that America is known as the richest country in the world. But there are several areas that Dr. King will place his vision. One area is the problem of homelessness, according to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, HUD. In December 2018, there were over 500,000 homeless people in America. Homeless people are sleeping on the streets and that includes children, people with mental problems, and even our veterans that served to protect our country. Many of them are sleeping on the streets because they are the working poor, meaning that they do not have enough money to pay rent. They can only buy a little food when adults only make about $8 an hour. They are the ones that are very low on the poverty scale. Dr. King stated that, that there is nothing new about poverty. What is new, however, is that we have the resources to get rid of it. Just think, we destroy or throw away food every day, which could feed every needed person in America. Dr. King's next focus will be on civil rights of all American people. It is sad to say that today we are still fighting for civil rights. When in 1964, the Civil Rights Act was passed, the act that outlawed discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, or natural origin. It gives every citizen the right to vote, the right of a good education, and all rights as all other citizens. Why? Why are we seeing every trick in the book to keep minority people from voting? With the election of 2020, people should not be afraid to vote. If we must protest to keep our right to vote, protest. Dr. King quoted, the only weapon we have in our hands is the weapon of protest. So Dr. King will focus on homelessness in America, civil rights of American people, which includes the right to vote without being afraid. Press on, Dr. King. Thank you for your focus for America in 2020. 